Let's talk about DJ Pro for Windows. Now first I want to clarify that this review is specifically targeting the Windows version of, of DJ Pro. Not, not the Mac version, not the iPad version, but specifically the Windows version. And you might think, well, what's the difference? Same, same software, just Windows version PC, or Windows version Mac version. But they're obviously a different code base because the Mac version is just way more built out. It has video functionality. The Windows version just doesn't. It's like an older version of DJ Pro. Uh, bottom line, would I recommend the software? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, for sure not for a professional DJ. Maybe if you're just kind of uh, somebody that likes to mess around at home, doesn't really want to buy music, wants to use the Spotify integration for maybe DJing house parties or, you know, college parties. You know, anything where there's not the standards of, you know, I'm getting paid $500 for this gig, uh, you know, might, might be okay. You know, you, you can handle a program crash here and there, and it's probably not going to make much of a difference. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly where or how DJ Pro developed the, the Windows version. Um, if, if I was a betting man, I would say that Algorithm probably doesn't have any Windows developers on staff. I think they're a very Mac-focused company. They like the Apple ecosystem. And if I had to bet, I would say that because, you know, for years, Windows users were saying, when are you coming out with a Windows version? When are you coming out with a Windows version? I think one day they just shopped around and said, all right, who can port this Mac version over to Windows for us? Done deal. We have a Windows version. So we can get all those Windows users to just stop asking when a Windows version's coming. So if I was a betting man, I'd say they have zero Windows developers. They probably hired a third party to port the Mac software over and just made a, you know, quick and dirty Windows version just to just to uh, make the Windows users happy. Now I I bought this when it first came out uh, which uh, looks like the release date was May of 2016 and you know I don't think they've updated it at all since then. You know I had hoped that eventually you know they'd start I thought they were starting out with just like, okay, let's get this version out, we'll add video into it, we'll bring it up to the level of full functionality that the, the Mac version has, you know, we'll squash some bugs along the way. They haven't done any of that. They, they put it out there, said we have a Windows version, and, you know, they seemingly just left it at that because um, it came out right around the time, just a little backstory, it came out right around the time that... Uh, Virtual DJ 8 came out, and I wasn't a huge fan of Virtual DJ 8, you know, I'd used 5, 6, 7, but then 8 came out, and I just had a trouble with the change, and, you know, version 8 was a complete rewrite from the ground up, and I just right off the bat didn't really care for it, so I thought, well, if this is ever going to be a time for me to, you know, shop around different DJ softwares and see what's out there, this would be a good time. And... I had thought that DJ Pro might be a good option for our DJ division just because, you know, we train in a lot of new DJs, it's kind of simplified DJ software. If you look at Virtual DJ 8, you know, the interface is, it's busy. You know, the side panel now I think has like three or four different playlist tabs and, you know, just it gets to be a lot for somebody that's new to it to, to learn all that. So I thought DJ Pro might be a good spot for our new DJs to start out. Just simplified interface, gets the job done. And every time I do something like that, you know, I don't just buy DJ Pro and send other people out with it. I actually put it on my computer first and, and used it at probably a dozen gigs or so before I finally gave up on it. But it, you know, it, do, it doesn't fail every gig, but you know, even if you re read the reviews, you know, I mean, crash, 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 uh, great when it works, keeps freezing, four to five songs, then after restart the program, um, you know, there's one guy in here, same situation as me, he owns DJ Pro for every platform out there, 
and he doesn't like the limited functionality of the Windows version. It's unstable and buggy. Oddly, he gives it a four-star review. If you actually look in the Windows App Store, this software has probably a four-and-a-half-star average, which is really weird because even the people that complain about it crashing are still giving it a four-star review, and I don't know if that's just because they like the Mac version, so they don't want to, you know, hurt algorithms' feelings. But, you know, the bottom line is it's just buggy. Uh, you know, I've, I've mixed in songs where the one song is playing just fine, you mix in the other song, and all of a sudden it just sounds really slow and, like, distorted. So you quick load up a song on the other deck, flip it back, and it's just locked into that distorted, weird-sounding music mode. So where you have to close out of the program, open it back up, and then it'll play fine. And then there's other times where it just kind of like stutters and just crashes and, and, and dies on you. And it, it doesn't do that every show, but it was doing it enough to where towards the end of my half a dozen, half a dozen uh, string of shows with it, towards the end, around show like 10, 11, 12, it got to the point where when I got to a gig, I would, I would right before start time, start up my laptop, fresh restart, fresh opening of DJ Pro, and then I would cross my fingers that the software would remain stable for four hours. And, you know, I just, at that point, I was like, you know, I can't be sending people out with DJ Pro. You know, if, if I'm crossing my fingers at the start of a show that the software is not going to crash on me, you know, it's, it's just not ready for prime time. So for the professional DJ that's going out doing paid gigs, you know, just look elsewhere. Um, you know, I know a lot of people say professional, you know, Spotify integration is nice. And, and, you know, it was one, it's not legal to use in a pro environment. It is for home use only. But, you know, it was nice if there was a request I didn't have and I had Wi-Fi connected to be able to just drag and drop the track. You know, we, we do have a full music library, you know, 20,000 songs, we get new music downloaded every week. So it's not like we don't have our own music library. It was just nice for the oddball request where I hear it and I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend a dollar twenty nine on that for the one time I'm going to play it. So that, that, that was a perk. But in the end, you know, that perk isn't worth having software that crashes all the time. But with that being said, like I said, for the pro-grade market, I would not recommend it. You know, the 50 bucks you're going to spend on it, get a limited version of PC DJ or Virtual DJ at that point. Um, you know, especially if, you're, if, you, if you are a professional DJ and you're spending $700 on a controller, you know, spend the 200 bucks on some professional software. Or just use the intro version of what came with your, came with your controller. Now, if you're a bedroom DJ, just a home DJ, say you want to, you know, DJ a house party or something, and you don't want to buy music, sure, DJ Pro will work perfect for you. And, you know, if it crashes at some point in the night, you know, you might get a few drunken boos at you, but, you know, people are going to forget about it and the, the party is going to go on. But um, just, just stabi stability-wise, it's, it's not good software, and I don't know why they don't update it. Um, I kind of think the same thing with the Android version, because I think they only have DJ2 available for Android, and they just they never update it. They don't come out with a new version. So I'm a, I almost want to think the same thing. They took their iOS version of DJ2 and just hired a third party to port it over to, port it over to Android and was like, here we go. We got an Android app, quick and dirty Android app, and a quick and dirty Windows app, and then we can go back to focusing on our core Apple development. So, wouldn't recommend the Android version, just a little side add to this video, and I wouldn't recommend the, uh, the Windows version either. But if you're a Mac user, you know, definitely go ahead and use it. They're very dedicated to their, their Mac development, just not so much on the Windows side. If you have any questions about the software, uh, if you disagree with me, only comment if you're a Windows user. You know, I, I am a fan of the Mac version. I think the Mac version works well. I think the iPad version works well. I just think the Windows version, they just slapped it together, threw a $50 price tag on it, and said, let's see how much money we can make. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comments section. Until next time, have a good day.